Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Discord with me and Nick. Hello. Hello. Yeah, okay, um, yeah, we're here in the stables. And yeah, it's lucky we picked up those scissors in the last episode. Oh, you're going to cut off the tail? Yeah. You bastard. Yeah. I might have to do something to him first. Yeah, it's like it. Alright, yeah. Stab him. <laughs> the number of that donkey cart. See, that's a slight clue. Aha, uh -huh, donkey cart. Yeah. Must you all. Uh -huh. Hmm. Maybe he's woodworm. I wonder if. That donkey certainly would need a bumper bar. Alright, oh, yeah, it's behind the sack, isn't it? Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I know where we gotta go. We gotta go to the alleyway. Okay. Yeah. Let me control it, please. Can you go flying, don't you? I know you have to wait for that. Uh, I think it's slightly different on this bit. Yeah, the thing's back there. Yeah. Even we got it. I don't know if we can get that yet or not. Oh. I think we might have to get a knife. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have to pick that up. Yeah, we probably can't do it at the moment. Do, 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 do. So I think we have to get the knife from the um, assassin's yeah. house. Yeah. That doesn't work. Let's keep track of that. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Okay. We'll get down the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna skip this. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Why didn't that just make you go flying again? Huh? No, 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 we can just walk past it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Get in here. What's that noise? Oh. Noise! What's that noise? <laughs> I can't hear you. Wait a minute while I turn off the noise. <laughs> Just tell me what you're doing. I'm banging grains. It's for the clickies. Uh, we need a novelty food for people to eat while watching the shows. Banged grain? Great name. <laughs> yes, I thought it up myself. Yeah, I can tell. Does it always make that awful noise? It's a civil disturbance, that is. Don't you need a license for doing that? Well, I asked if you needed a permit to bang grain, and they've given me one of these instead. This is a permit for soliciting street girls. <laughs> but is that better than exploded corn kernels with butter? You don't get out much, do you? <laughs> Have you ever thought of... What? Well, the advantages of heading back into more traditional lines of work. Base metals into gold, that sort of thing. No, no, no future in it. I turn one base metal into another one, and then another, and then into gold. Ten minutes later, it all reverts to the original metal again. Back to first base? Yes. That's the one. <laughs> you want to get your process cheaper? This stuff's too expensive. Well, I bought the grain special from the grocers. Why don't you go down the livery stable? You'd pay a third the price. Yeah. Yeah, that's an idea there. Now, you watch the shop for a moment, and, and I'll be back. There you go, that moves the grain. And yeah, steal his camera. Alright. Yeah, and um Where is he? Yeah, the imp. Uh -huh. Yeah! This camera even has a little veranda and an easel for the imp. The little blighter looks a little drunk. Hope he can still paint okay. I don't actually know what this is for. Maybe I can take that. That doesn't drone. work. <laughs> oh, no. Alright. Right, on to the next thing then. Got the grain gone. Yeah, the grain's gone, but um Well we'll see what happens. Let's head back there. Hmm. See if we can actually see it or not. A little over a stepper. Okay. You can't read this, it's all covered with mud. At least I hope that's mud. Winnie, if you love dragons. Lady Rampkin's Sunnyvale Dragon yeah. Sanctuary. Yeah. Wherever it is. I 
was it supposed to show us something? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to like show us where it was. Maybe yeah. it did and we just didn't notice it. No. It's up there, I think. I think it's supposed to be. Oh no, it's there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's there. Okay. <laughs> Lady Rankin's Dragon Sanctuary. Brimstone delivers at the rear. Intertwined dragons. You know, I'm beginning to pick up a bit of a theme about this place. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just going to walk through. Well, I suppose when you're this rich, garden gnomes are just too passe. So, I don't even say that doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> Where are we going? That way. <laughs> Yes. Well, it's all right if you go for that pre-patrician opulence. Dragon-shaped. Well, I'll be... No one answers. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Hello. I'm just feeding my little darlings now. Do come around the back. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Is behind here. The back door. Aha! The tradesman's entrance. Okay. That doesn't work. Right. She's probably in there. Yeah, more than likely. A nice blue ribbon and rosette. Yes, I won that at last year's Swamp Dragon Breeders Show. Poor old Reginald Lampwick Ponchinbury the Third. He just up and exploded with excitement at the time. Pity, really. Mm -hmm. huh. Hmm, Mambo the 16th. Quite a chirpy little chap, aren't you? <laughs> Nigel Hawthorne Rampshire the 8th. <laughs> I hope that leash isn't flammable. <laughs> I'm just stealing your shit, though. Don't worry. I'm sure you got plenty of them. Nothing like that fine ink more port workmanship, is there? Oh no, it's mm -hmm. on. Alright, um Yeah, well, it's alright. A nail. Why would we need a nail? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Did Comsher Farrow got the ninth? Randolph Bloomington Horrogate the eleventh? <laughs> Uh, Oops! Oh, alright. Sorry, I skipped it. But... Good grief, it's sizzling! Pick it up. That doesn't work. Uh, I think you have to walk in, don't you? Oh, hello again! You're at the head. Oh, the door's open. Lady Ramkin. Do mind the doo-doos. Eh? Well, if you don't, the doo does what it does. It does? What does it do? Well, it does the dirty. The doo-doos, I mean. It can be dodgy, ducking doo-doos. If there's any carbon on your feet, you could be history. And geography. Dragon droppings are rather unstable, even explosive. That's what the boots are for. Can't go tracking this sort of thing in the house. It eats through the rugs. And the foundations, actually. Oh. Yes, yes. I'll be careful. Some sort of constable, are you? Hey? Well, your hat. It's very grand. Officer's issue, I suppose. Uh, no, not exactly. I'm... I'm a wizard. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm afraid I don't have much to do with men. Dragon fancier, are you? Run that bit about men past me again. Oh, well, I've just never... There's never... Well, dragons have taken up most of my time, really. I've never really got the hang of... Well, you know, boys and everything. Right. Let's not mention dragons. I've had a bad day. What on earth was that bang? Oh, no, there goes another one. Poor little knight. He was one of my best breeders, too. There he goes. Off. He's gone off. It's the flames, you see. It's all in the digestion. The more combustible the food they eat, the more powerful the flame. Really? Now and then, one of the little beggars overdoes it and sets himself off. Rather nasty, really. Uh, 
dragon innards are so hard to shift from the ceiling. Do they all explode? Well, what they're trying to do is modify their digestion to create hotter flames. If they could only approach evolution more scientifically, they might do better. As it is, the species needs an awful lot of looking after. Is a self-detonating, toxic, defecating house pet really going to catch on? Well, there's the excitement of breeding, pedigree lines and all. Yeah, and you can watch them all blow up afterwards. Yes, it's hard. You get so fond of them. I give the members of one family line the same name and then just attach a number on the end. It makes it less heart-wrenching to lose one then. That was Mambo the 15th who just detonated now. Sadly, his son is a bit of a disappointment. Oh? Yes, he's a runt. Mambo the 16th will probably never survive to breed. He's too small to fly, and dragons mate on the wing, don't you know? Still, he's a romantic little soul, a real charmer to the ladies. Ladies? Well, Lady Dragons. He's always doing little mating dances. Quite the little show-off, really. Dragons? Where? All around you, young man. Swamp dragons. The only kind of dragon that normally exists, of course. They're quite lovable. Are you a member of the Dragon Protection Society? Protection Society? My dear woman, there's a dragon out there and is bent on burning this whole city to the ground. Yes, poor thing. It's usually the owner's fault, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll catch you later, then. Well, I suppose the key's safe in her stocking top. No one's likely to dive his hand in there. <laughs> oh, no, not that one. That one. That doesn't oh, work. Huh. That doesn't. Maybe that's for that. Yeah. Or maybe I can just click on. That doesn't work. No. Fine. Alright, I don't think there's anything else we can do here. We got a nail, didn't we? Yeah, and the thingy leash. Yeah. Fucking hell, what's the leash for? No idea. Uh, um, okay. I'm not too sure where we're going next. That's great. Yeah. Um, actually, I think we've got all the. Before we walk out of here. Just looking like it's right. We've got the pot there. Brush. Okay, right. Yeah, I think I know what we have to do. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do that in the next episode, so we'll see you there, everybody. Bye right, bye bye. Just got undressed and wait. <laughs> 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 he likes that idea. <laughs>